I'm Brianna Sherbo. I work for the Manitoba Métis Federation as an aquatic biologist. My previous experience has been in research on algae primary production at the Experimental Lakes area, and that's sort of what's gotten me to this coordinator of the community-based water monitoring and climate monitoring programs here at the MMF. The Manitoba Métis community is really connected to the lands and the waters and the resources. And so it's really good to have the Métis boots on the ground with our Métis citizen scientists actually on the ground doing the research and conducting it themselves. And it also provides a really good training opportunity for the Métis citizens. Climate change is occurring and it's gonna impact everyone, but it's especially gonna impact the Manitou Métis citizens that use the lands, waters and resources. 44.1 for dissolved oxygen. That's percent. Yeah. Plus milligrams per liter? 746.7. A citizen scientist is a Métis citizen that will help the MMF with our research and our monitoring that we undertake. Well, I was trying to help the, the water testing program here with Brianna. We've been doing that actually for a couple years. The Seine River is important to me, and I enjoy doing it. Dropped a little bit over there too. And the last couple of days it actually rose. Must have had some rain a little bit someplace or the Red River went up. We are located at the Nyakwa Place footbridge on the Seine River. And this is an important location as it's been identified by citizens in our community consultation meetings on climate change as being an area that, of concern for climate change and garbage and overall pollution. And so this is one of the four sites that we sample along the Seine River within the city of Winnipeg. Today we were working on testing the water quality of the Seine River. We were measuring a few nutrients as well as the water clarity of the Seine River. 48.1. It's really important to the Manitoba Métis Federation to have Métis boots on the ground and to be the eyes and the ears in the environment to see the changes that are going on, the changes with our water quality or our climate. We want to keep doing as much as we can to collect as much data to try and see what change is occurring to kind of help prepare for the effects of climate change and so just kind of having this monitoring data will help us to be able to see those changes over time. There's a lot of people that care, like myself, they can spread the word to other people. I really believe that the more people know, the better it is. Try and make things better for the future. Oh, okay, what's next, Brianna? Um, Eugene's getting the integrated sampler out, or the, sorry, the Van Dorn note. Yep. So we'll use that to fill up the transparency tube. Okay. Climate change is affecting water quality even right now with the different water levels. There are a lot of different lakes and rivers that have lower water levels and that really impacts the Manitou Métis community because a lot of Métis population that are commercial fishermen. And so with lower water levels that can impact fish which can impact the daily life of these Métis commercial fishermen. And so it is really important to have these citizen scientists and ourselves working to test the waters and look at the land, as the land is super, super important. It's been a really successful program so far, and it's just continuing to grow.